was also really scary. <laughs> yes. Good morning. We did not sleep last night. <laughs> we were in the car for eight hours. It was the coldest I've been yeah. in months, and I just spent four months in Antarctica. So <laughs> I just guess I, we weren't prepared to go car camping. We didn't have any blankets, so we yeah. might not be doing that again. <laughs> but today we are about to go into an icy cold cave, and so that's the first thing we're doing. So if we weren't cold enough, I have flip flops on and swim trunks, and apparently the water gets up to chest high. So we're gonna walk through a cave, or trek through a cave. It's that, completely dark. Yeah, exactly. That's gonna take an hour to get through. <laughs> um, so like, let's go. And that's where we're going. Cool. And we finally made it down to the river and it is pretty icy. Like the temperature is already dropping. Cold. We're gonna be very cold on this trip. We're also the first people to do this today. Uh, no one else was in the parking lot when we showed up. So I hope it's not too high, but if it is, we might be swimming. What about this? Oh my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm awake now. Okay, so we've done the Narrows in Zion National Park, and that was a really cold river. We were in that for up to three hours. I yeah. think we can do this, but the only thing is the sun isn't going to be on us. So it's not going to be yeah. warm. Nope. We're gonna we be have a phone <laughs> as our flashlight. Because we forgot our headlamp. <laughs> so we're improvising, and we'll see if we can make it through. Please, Lord, let us survive this day and bring our phone safely back home with us.
is also really scary. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. So, I'm really happy that she did that. I cannot believe you did it. Once you're halfway in the cave, like you can't turn around. Yeah. And at one point I took a picture and then Leah's phone, which was our light, died. And, and I, was I like, started freaking out. Oh, we have no light. <laughs> Luckily it turned back on, we had 10% left. By which point we sprinted up the waterfalls. <laughs> I was really proud of you. Thank you. And then at the end, not only do we have to go up that huge, huge, huge ladder, but we had like eight <laughs> children watching us yeah. as we did it with like hard hats and gear on. And they were like, what are you guys doing? Well, and like, it was great. I mean, it was humiliation because we just finished a gigantic trek. Yeah, well, I didn't really care at all. Oh. I was just like, oh, oh wow. <laughs> There's a lot of people watching us literally crawl out of this thing. This is embarrassing, kind of. <laughs> well, maybe, Ooh. maybe next time. <laughs> Oh, you're not doing it again. Okay. I'm not doing it. I will bring people back here if they want to come because that was incredible. <laughs>
and all of a sudden this voice out of nowhere was like, turn your light off! And we were like... Yeah. We were... Okay. But today <laughs> was amazing. This video was awesome. We had so much fun shooting it. I think my favorite part of this video was the beach and the sunset and just like watching the sun fade to darkness because we didn't see that in Antarctica. My, my favorite part was probably the glowworms because I think this is just so unexpectedly cool and it was so close to the trail head <laughs> and it was really easy. It was really awesome and we couldn't really take many photos because like they're just so dimly lit that so you lucky can't this take a works. photo. Yeah. Yeah, thankfully our camera is really good in the dark, so we got some time lapses, but yeah, we were really, really lucky. That was really cool. <laughs> it was awesome. Whew, we're making it. Whew, we made it really. Whew. So right now we are at the famed Devil's Punch Bowl on our way from Christchurch to Pukatiki. Pukatiki? Shoot, Pukatika. Pukatika. 